You know, I'm rocking with fans of the flair, but you already know we're gonna play a we're gonna play a quick game called Behind the Meeting. It's real okay. simple. All we did was take different bars from different songs hmm. of our choice. Hmm. And um and you pretty much gotta tell us what you mean by that. Okay, okay. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Let's I'm ready, it. perfect. This one's self-explanatory, but we all go through us. I had to choose as the first one. Okay. You said, I heard showing love is free 99. Random supporters hit me up like, yo, you super fire. And they don't know it means the world and you wanted to know why, cause homies that I knew in 20 years ain't never bet an eye. Yeah. That shivers. Oh. Yeah, whoo. <laughs> Ooh, we did it at the same time, my like, God. Oh, yes. That was fire, we did it at the same time. Talk, talk to me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, that can attest to like, just my sentiments and why I go so hard and why I just, Go so hard, man, because yeah. I feel like, you know, certain people you would expect to listen to your music and promote you, but then you go on their social media and you see they're promoting other people or listening to other music or like, you know, other artists when, in the industry when an already. artist so, uh, album drop, yo, did you listen to, did you listen to my song? Mm. You know, and mm -hmm. you'd be surprised. These are like. Cousins. Close friends. These are people that, you know, so family, good. blood. And when I go to shows and I rock out, and then just that genuine love from people who don't know me from a hole in a wall. I get that. So that good. trumps wondering why, yo, we grew up on the block together. Why you don't listen to my... That trumps because this is a random person. You're not entitled to like me. You don't know me personally. And you drew, you know, to my creativity. That trumps it, so. Yeah, major shout out to Corey, you know. Yeah, one of our facilitators. He definitely liked your music when you uh -huh. was walking into the, when you walked into set. Uh -huh. Oh, shout out Corey, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, you know, we do have another one. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, cool. It says, my mama told me if they try to play you, go and rub it in their face like a facial. I'm finna black out, no racial. See, I'm on a side trying to lurp like a state true. Woo, woo. I love that yeah. one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Now, that's off the Shantae interlude album. Yeah. That's the intro. Talk yeah. to me. That's just me just, again, just saying, like, I'm just full force. Like, the intro to Shantae's um, interlude, uh, I feel like it just takes you through, like, that's just, like, like the synopsis of the album. It's mm -hmm. like, this is why I go so hard. My grandmother... My, you know, I'm lurking on the side like that. Me lurking on the side is like, I'm trying to kick the door in and I'm trying to make my name. And it just attests to why I go so hard. And, you know, my humbleness, you know, of course I'm humble, but I know that I have what it takes to but really push to the top. top. So yes, I'm, yes. I'm going I'm to talk my talk when it's time to talk yes. my talk. You get me? So, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I was just willing to talk my talk, let everybody know. I'm, I'm coming, so. We have, we do have one more. This is off the Shivers uh, record. And okay. this is the second verse. I'm not gonna lie, like, and I, and I can hear the aggression. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. When you talk about, you said, heart of a lion, I just be flowing, I hardly be trying. I feel like I'm iconic as a woman whose heart is in Zion. Yeah, Ooh. that's just. That's powerful right yeah, there. Yeah, like, you know, me again talking my stuff. I just be flowing. I don't be trying. It just comes again. You know, it just it just flows. But um, to test and uh, and again to really get in my bag, like that woman whose heart is in Zion, Lauren Hill. She's considered, you know, icon R&B. Mm -hmm. She literally has one album and it's legendary. And she's still like Lauren Hill. And that's just me saying, like, look. Yeah, first verse, I'm telling you everything I went through in 2020. I lost my uncle. I lost my grandmother two, year, two years before that. Cancer, I, I know, you know, everything that... 2020 mm. was hard. But, in a sense, it's like, once the, the hook comes in, it's like, ah, don't feel bad for me, because second verse is like, heart of a lion. Like, yeah, I just told... I just... I was so vulnerable in the first verse. Mm. Second verse, I was like, nah. It, it, I'm not gonna cry on this song, y'all. Y'all gonna know that I fight through my emotions every day, and I fight through, you know, whatever obstacles I have to endure to work on my craft every day. And it's like heart of a lion. I'm gonna push through regardless. A That's really how I feel. Yeah. I like really that. I like that. I, I have to ask because um, I did not get to ask you this um, mm -hmm. in the in the first segment, but um. You was at, uh, I think it was a woman's cypher at SOB's. 
you met Jermaine Dupri, yeah. right? Yeah. And you was able to perform a little bit. Oh, Hit him with gosh. that jagged edge bar, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how he felt, but talk about, you know, that interaction with him and how, how, would you, how did you get to meet him? Man, so first and foremost, um, at one point, um, Jermaine Dupri, again, hip-hop mogul, icon, like for me to even be on the same stage as him and to share that presence, like, again, like I'm so honored to have that opportunity. But he put out um, at, the, at the moment, I think it was an interview he did where he basically was talking about female rap and saying how, you know, most females, the rap that was out at that time, specifically what the time frame he was speaking in regards to, um, was very sexual. Um, mm -hmm. And it wasn't really any females rapping like that. So that kind of like sparked up like a freestyle challenge. And I remember the day he posted it. I came, back, I came home from work. I saw that he posted it. And I said, you know, I'm going to just do it. I heard the beat, and I was like, it came. All right. Cool. Recorded it. Tagged him. And, you know, half of the time, like, these challenges, like, you hear, like, these big artists, oh, I got a freestyle challenge. Post your challenge. Tag me. And you know that your video may fall within millions of other videos. And it's like, how is Jermaine Dupri going to find me, right? Put my phone down for about an hour. I came back to Mentioned phone. you in what? a... What? And you say you looking at the name like wait wait it's like, I'm like no way that. Jermaine Dupri like yeah my phone went crazy and I I was not expecting that because I was like oh well at least I'll get some followers some attention some likes some comments some shares but to have him repost my post yeah. on his page and to be honest with you I still got the link in my notes so I, I <laughs> click it sometimes just to make sure I'm on his page and I'm like yeah I'm still there he ain't deleted yet. I'm still on his page, and I'm honored, man. I, that was big for me. So, but and then from there, um, what he wanted to do, he wanted to pick like the the top five uh, female artists from the freestyle challenge. He picked his top five. I wasn't chosen, but he was in New York. He was like, "Yo, I'm gonna be at SOBs. The top five artists that I pick, they're gonna perform. And if you guys wanna come out and have a chance to possibly meet me or touch the stage and freestyle, you know." come out. So I, I went out regardless. I didn't know if I would have that opportunity to touch the stage if not. No. I was right front and center. If, if, if I were to show everybody the video, I was recording them picking people out. I was right in front. Like, I, remember, I, I know the guy. You know what's crazy? What's crazy thing about it? The guy, I think his name is Shawnee Culture um, from Hot mm. 97. Mm. That's my mom's friend. Yeah. Yep. And they know wow. each other. Crazy. He knew me when I was a kid. That's crazy. Yeah, yes, so that he was, was a little kid. Yes, he was. Wow. He selected you. And then you spit, you hit him with that jagged edge. And he yes. looked at you like, oh, snap. Like, and you know what's so crazy? Mm -hmm. So they brought two females up. And yeah. I don't know if they wanted us to like battle, but she went first. No, I went first. And I just spit whatever freestyle came to my head, right? Uh, something that I had already written. Midway, I'm like, Fancy, you got the jagged edge bar in this. And you could see it in the video. I came to the stage, and you could kind of see when I kind of sparked, like, oh, jagged edge bar and about two bars. Walk over to that man, and see, yeah. I'm lyrically sharp. You could call it that. So once I give him the jagged edge, no more asking where the party's at. It was perfect. perfect. It was perfect. You would think I wrote that specifically for that night. No, I already had that in the arsenal. Like, yo, I don't know. Like, like I said, just certain rooms and people I've been around, it's really been a blessing. And I've only been doing this for like five years now. It's people that have been doing it forever and never had that opportunity. So Jermaine Dupri, I was, I still bask in that ambiance. I look at that video, I don't care if it was 10, 15 years from now, I'm gonna show my children, my grandchildren. That's me hey, and Jermaine hey, Dupri on stage. So <laughs> yeah, man, that was, that was, yeah. That was everything right there. Well. Enough said. Before you leave the function, I need you to tear the stage one more time, man. Please, you. you got you? I got you. I got, yes, I yes. I got you. Trust me, I got you. I got All you. All right, cool. Well, Fancy Affair is about to hit the stage again, so keep a lock and stay tuned. Hey.